now let us discuss about a star search algorithm first let us see some important points on the a star algorithm then we will discuss a star algorithm by taking an example a star algorithm is informed search technique so that means here an extra knowledge is needed heuristic functions are needed here it is a star search algorithm is one of the most popular graph traversal algorithm in the artificial intelligence so in order to find the best cast best path cheapest cast path a star is the best algorithm in the artificial intelligence it evaluates the nodes using the evaluating function f of n equal to g of n plus h of n so first let's see what is f of n f of n means evaluating function so in order to estimate the cost of the cheapest solution we are determining f of n so here cheapest solution means the path which is producing the minimum cost okay g of n means the cost from the starting node to the node n whereas we can call h of n as heuristic function h of n means the cost from node n to the goal node so if you take this example so if we consider c if we consider c let us find out f of n here so what is the formula here f of n equal to g of n plus h of n what is g of n the cost from the start node to the node n so start node is a node n is c so here the cost is 2 plus what is h of n h of n means that heuristic function so that means the cost from this node node n to the goal node so here the heuristic functions are for node a it is 5 for node b it is 6 for node c it is 7 so here the heuristic value of c is 7 so 2 plus 7 means 9 so likewise we are going to calculate f of n f of n equal to g of n plus h of n okay next it has combined the best features of uniform cost search that is ucs and best for search that is bfs by which it solves the problem very very efficiently so a star algorithm means it is a combination of two algorithms such as uniform cost search as well as best for search so the advantages of both the algorithms are taken and developed an algorithm called a star algorithm so let's see that point it is similar to ucs so a star search algorithm is similar to uniform cost search except it uses g of n plus h of n instead of g of n so in uniform cost search for evaluating function f of n the formula is g of n whereas here in a star algorithm the formula is f of n equal to g of n plus h of n whereas if you take the best for search then f of n formula is h of n so only that heuristic value is sufficient whereas in a star algorithm we require f of n is equal to g of n plus h of n a star search algorithm is widely used because it is both complete and optimal so this point is very very important the advantages of the a star search algorithm is complete and optimal so complete means if you if the problem has a solution then a star algorithm 100% will produces the solution optimal means among all the different solutions a star algorithm always produces the best solution so best solution means it produces the cheapest solution so the path which is producing the least cost okay here in a star search algorithm just like the best for search here also we will use two lists such as open and closed so open list contains a list of nodes that are to be explored in the future so whenever a node is explored 
then it has some successes so all the successes will be placed in the open list where he has the best successor will be placed in the closed list so closed list means it contains the nodes which were already explored so explored nodes should be placed in the closed list now let's see the a star search algorithm by taking an example now let's see the a star algorithm step 1 place the starting node in the open list so if you take this graph so here s is the starting node so we have to place the starting node in the open list yes next step 2 select a node n from the open list which has the smallest value of f of n we know the formula for f of n for each node we have to calculate f of n f of n equal to g of n plus h of n g of n means the cost from start node to the node n whereas h of n means heuristic value the cost from node n to the goal node okay and place it in the closed list so out of all the available nodes the node which is having the minimum value so that node will becomes the best node so we have to place that node in the closed list okay and then we will check whether node n is goal node or not if node n is goal node then return the success and stop otherwise let's see the step 3 expand node n that is generate all the successes of node n for each success evaluate f of n equal to g of n plus h of n place it in the open list so here uh, the fourth step is go to step 2 so likewise we have to do the repetition so here the procedure is very very simple so we have to select a node from the here we we will take two list first one is open list second one is closed list so open list contains a list of nodes that are to be explored in the future so out of all the available nodes in the open list we have to select the best node so what is the best node for each node we have to compute evaluating function such as f of n equal to g of n plus h of n so the node which is having least f of n value that node will becomes the best node so we have to remove that node from the open list and place it in the closed list now we need to check whether that the, the node which is in the closed closed list is goal node or not suppose if it is not the goal node then uh, we, we need to select uh, some other path yeah we need to generate we need to select one more node from the open list the best node and we have to repeat the procedure once again so likewise we need to repeat the procedure until we will get the goal node so let us observe this diagram so here yes yes is the starting node yes heuristic value is 5 from s to a the cost is 1 from s to g the cost is 10 here g is the goal node so that's why the heuristic value of g is 0 next if we take a heuristic value of a is 3 heuristic value of b is 4 heuristic value of c is 2 <coughs> heuristic value of d is 6 6 here we have two d nodes next the cost from a to b is 2 b to d is 5 c to d is 3 d to g d to g is 2 here we have 1 2 3 4 4 goal nodes are there here our major aim is we have to find out the best path from the starting node to the goal node okay so let us do the process place the start node in the open list so this is the start node so place that node in the open list yes now let us calculate f of n of yes so how to calculate f of n of yes first here we are calculating for yes f of n equal to g of n plus h of n g of n means the cost from this node to this node from s yes to s yes, the cost is zero so zero plus what is h of n heuristic value of s is 5 5 so f of n equal to 5 so now place that node in the open so now open list contain yes now we need to generate the successors of yes so what are the successors of yes we have a we have j so we need to place those two successors in the open list open list so now let us compute f of n of sa yes, yes a and then we have 
Sz also. So let us calculate f of n of Sa and Sz. So what is f of n of Sa? Here what is e of n? The cast from starting node to the node n. So that is 1. So 1 plus what is h of n of a? That is 3. So 1 plus 3 means 4. Next, what is f of n of Sz from S to G? So the cast from the starting node to this node is 10. So 10 plus what is h of n? 0. So 10 plus 0 means 10. So here out of 4 and 10, which is the minimum value? 4 is the minimum value. So we have to remove, yeah, already S, S is in the closed list only. Now we, we, we need to remove A from the open list and we can place it in the closed list. Here simply we have to do the selection operation only. Here we need to simply, uh, simply select a node from the open list. Here there is no need of uh, any removal from the open list. So initially open list contain yes. Next A, next G. So next year we have A. So now A is in the closed list. So now we need to explore the success of A. So yes A, yes A. So what are the success of A, B, C. So we need to determine yes A, B. So yes A, B means yes to A, A to B. Next yes A, to, yes A, C. Yes to A, A to C. So let us determine f of n of b, f of n of b. So what is the cast from the starting node to the node n? So 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 means 3. So f of n equal to g of n plus h of n. So what is g of n? 1 plus 2. So that is 3. Plus what is h of n? The heuristic value of b is 4. So 3 plus 4 means 7. So likewise determine f of n of c. f of n of c. So what is g of n value? 1 plus 1. That is 2. Next what is the heuristic value of c? 2. So 2 plus 2 means 4. So out of 7 and 4. Out of 7 and 4. Yeah. Previously we have a c. So we need to place c in the open list. So out of 7 and 4, which is the small value, 4 is the small value. So now C is 4 is nothing but C. So now we have to select C from the open list and place it in the closed list. So here there is no need of any removal. Whereas if you take best of us edge, then we will remove the node from the open list and we will place in the closed list. Whereas here there is no need of removal. Simply we have to select a node from the open list and place it in the closed list. So now C is the best node. So this is the best path. Yes, yes, C. Yes, yes, C. Yes, yes, C. Now what are the success of C? D and G. Yes, yes, C, D. Yes, yes, C, D. And yes, yes, C, G. So let us determine the cost of, cost of D. So what is G of N value? F of N equal to below the formula. F of N equal to G of N plus H of N. What is g of n value? 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 3, 5. So 5 plus, what is h of n? 6. 5 plus 6 means 11. So likewise calculate S A C G. So 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 4, 6. What is h of n value? 6. So here the result is 6. So out of 11 and 6, which is the minimum value? 6 is the minimum value. And here we got go load. So we can say that the best path is the best path is S, A, C, G. This is the best path. And what is the minimum cost? 6 is the minimum cost. So likewise, we can easily implement the A star H algorithm by taking any example. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, as well as share the channel with your friends. Thanks for watching.